Riverview, Florida is one of the best places to live near Tampa. And Tampa, Florida, as you may know, since it's been very big news in 2022, is predicted to be the hottest real estate market in the country this year. So today we're gonna to talk about what that means for you if you're considering relocating to the Tampa area or to the west coast of Florida, and we'll talk about why Riverview just might be the best choice for you. Hey everyone, my name is Amy. I'm a realtor at Sun Realty One in Tampa, Florida, and today is all about Riverview and why it's such a popular destination for people relocating to the Tampa area. For several years now, Riverview has been one of Florida's fastest growing cities. And again, as you know, the real estate market has been going crazy lately. So it's no wonder that Riverview is booming. Now there are two main reasons why Riverview is one of the best places to live near Tampa and why people are moving here. But this is not a sales pitch for Riverview, so I'll also tell you some of the downsides as well. The first reason that people are moving to Riverview is its location. It's in a prime location right next to Tampa Bay, a commute to downtown, obviously depending on where you are in Riverview, but a commute to downtown can be 25 to 35 minutes to McDill Air Force Base, 30, 35 minutes over to even to St. Pete or down to Bradenton, 40 or 45 minutes. Even though that is a very good reason to move to Riverview, I think the main reason that people are moving to Riverview, Florida when they're relocating to Tampa is the availability of homes. And not just any home, but new or newer homes that are moderately priced, especially compared to other suburbs of Tampa. I said moderately priced because again, you don't live under a rock, you know this already, nothing is cheap. One of my most popular videos is about homes in Riverview that are less listed for less than $250,000. And even though that video is less than a year old, it's obsolete. But people of course are still moving to Tampa. That metric about it being a hot real estate market is not just about housing. It's also about job growth, which is happening here. And that's good news. Now here's a quick breakdown of the types of houses you will see in Riverview at different price points. Under $200,000, you can find manufactured homes, mobile homes. You will even see some single family homes, but those single family homes will most likely not qualify for an FHA or VA loan because of the amount of repair that they're gonna need. They will almost always be listed as an investor special or say they need TLC, and that can be an understatement actually. So they're certainly all cash deals. Under $300,000, again, of course, you can find mobile homes and uh, manufactured homes, sometimes even on a very large lot. But there will also be townhouses available. Two bedroom and sometimes three bedroom townhouses that could even have a pool or a gated community. Okay, between $300,000 and $350,000, you can find single family homes that will qualify for a loan. Typically, they're three bedrooms, two baths, less than 1,800 square feet. If they don't need a tremendous amount of repair, they are going to go quickly. This is a very, very competitive price point, probably the most competitive price point. Most homes are gonna be listed between 400 dollars and $800,000. If I could draw you a nice bell-shaped curve and show you it's a very even distribution, between 400 and 800, that's just where the majority of the houses are in Riverview right now. I realize that's quite a wide spread between 400 and 800,000. So let me put it in perspective like this. A kind of typical home that a lot of people want is a four bedroom, three bath home, over 2,200 square feet. So you've got rooms for maybe room for maybe a flex space or the kids doing school at home and a pool. Did I mention a pool? Everybody wants a pool, right? and in a good school district. To get all of that in Riverview, you're gonna to have to spend around, obviously give or take, around $550,000. So I already mentioned that there's a lot of, there are a lot of houses, new or newer houses available in Riverview, which is great for people moving here. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of new construction, if you can get it. I love old architecture. I love older homes. Give me mid-century modern all day long. However, if you're a regular person with a regular budget like me and we have to worry about how much is it gonna to cost to fix the roof and the AC unit and how energy efficient is everything, obviously, if you can get new, it just makes sense. Now, here are a couple of real estate tips about new construction. Well, first of all, I should say that if you have your heart set on new construction, a home that nobody has ever lived in before, and there are a ton of builders in Riverview, which is great, as I've already said, they all do things a little bit differently. Sometimes it's still competitive. 
there will uh, be prepared to wait. There are waiting lists, there are delays because of supply issues, so it could be a while. And if you are looking for new construction and you want to work with a buyer's agent, which why wouldn't you, because it's free for you, to have someone working for you and watching out for your best interest, you should know that you have to contact the real estate agent before you get in touch with the builder. That means registering on their website, asking for any information. If you do that first, the builder will not pay a commission to your real estate agent and most real estate agents aren't working for free. Okay, and I said I was gonna tell you kind of the good and the bad about Riverview, so let's talk about a few more things really quickly. Things you need to know if you're moving to the Tampa area and you decide on Riverview. First of all, Riverview is big. So I mentioned commute time, so it would be very different if you're in the northwest corner of Riverview or the bottom southeast corner for your commute would be vastly different. First, so schools. Obviously, if you're moving here with a family, you've got school-aged kids, you want to know about the schools. Are they good or bad? In Riverview, it's a mixed bag, mostly good. I am only going to talk about high schools. And in the Riverview area, there are two high schools, Newsom High School and Riverview High School, that are A-minus rated schools, which is very good. And people really want to get their kids in there. Sumner High School is also in Riverview, but it's very new. So there's not a lot of data to support, oh, it's this rated or it's that rated, but it is new, which is kind of nice. That leads me to one negative thing. It's a new high school and it's crowded. All the schools are crowded because there are so many people moving here and obviously it takes time to build schools and for the infrastructure to keep up. There is another high school in Riverview as well, Spoto High School. It does not rate so well. It is a C plus rated school, which obviously can be a negative if you're moving to that area. For amenities, like shopping, there is every kind of shopping you could probably want when you're thinking about big box stores. Sam's and Target and Walmart and of course a Publix everywhere. There are some local boutique style shops, but not a ton. Restaurants, also every chain restaurant you can imagine is there. And there are a lot of dining options that are locally owned. For healthcare, there's every kind of medical office you could want. And there's St. Joseph's Hospital from Baycare as well. Things to do in Riverview, like to stay in Riverview, are a little bit limited. I have other videos about that. Because Riverview is so residential, things are focused around the neighborhood and around the home. There are some bars, there are a lot of outdoor activities, there's movies, but for things to do, that could be a negative as well. Except, as I mentioned, uh, it's great location. Riverview is so close to Tampa and Brandon, and it's actually only an hour and a half to Disney. It's very close to right next to Apollo Beach, so that's nice. It's about an hour, hour and a half to Clearwater Beach, or down to Anna Maria Island is only about an hour. The last thing that bears mentioning about Riverview is that it's safe. It's a very safe community. As I said, it's really residential. Uh, oh, I didn't mention traffic. I don't know how I didn't mention traffic. Traffic is definitely a negative for Riverview. As with the schools, the infrastructure just hasn't been able to keep up with the growth. So there are times when you can be at, uh, on a two lane road with a stop sign and it's crazy traffic. I hope this has helped shed a little light on Riverview. Certainly if you have any comments or questions, put them below or just reach out to me directly. I'd love to connect with you if you have plans to move to the area. Thanks for watching.